Now we're going to speak about the Prime Minister's Charity Golf Classic. And with me this morning is the General Manager of Magdalena Grant, Vinod Bajaj. With me is also uh, Srinivas Mohit, and he's a representative from the Golf Classic itself. And we are going to speak about this um, wonderful thing that has been going for over 20 years. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome. Well, good morning, Kerry. <laughs> good to see you again. Yeah, you know, I'm no host. stranger to you. <laughs> <laughs> always a pleasure to see you guys. Always, always, Thank yes. You. Now, tell me a little bit about the history of the Prime Minister Charity Golf Classic, because, um, again, it's been going on for 23 years, right. and it's been uh, some really good work going into um, some, some wonderful projects. So tell me a little bit about that, Srinivas. Okay, the Prime Minister Charity Golf Classic was founded in 1995. Subsequently, we went to Parliament and we are registered as a charitable body. Uh, this is our 23rd year of our tournament, and it was founded under the auspices of, of Mr. Pandey, the Prime Minister at that right. time. It continued under um, Mr. Manning, also Mrs. Bissessa. Now we are happy to say that we have the full support of Dr. Honorable Rowley. Yes, you know, yes, definitely. So he's a golfer also, so. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> so we, over the years, have um, been doing this. It's voluntary. Everyone, everything is done voluntarily. There are no overhead expenses, so we have a one-off tournament. Right. And the money we make, we give it back to charity. In fact, um, for two thousand last year, we gave over $575,000 to charity wow. off, off the proceeds that we made from last year's tournament. So all the proceeds go towards some sort of charitable all fund? The, all the proceeds go to some sort of charitable fund. In fact, we have had one or two big projects over the years. I remember we bought a, a, a new ambulance for the Red Cross in San Fernando. Wow. We also did a, a mobile screening unit for the, for the Cancer Society. But other than that, we tend to believe that we are the organization when one has nowhere else to turn. Right. They turn to our, our charity and we are able to help, help them. That is fantastic. Yeah. And I know this year it is being held at the Magdalena Grand. And uh, Vinod will tell us a little bit more about that. Because um, I know it's something that um, is not the first time that you've supported this course. No, actually, uh, this happened three years ago. This is the third event at Magdalena Grand. Actually, uh, when they came to us first time, the, the, the thought was, uh, can we handle the, this kind of event? And there's 200-plus uh, people, I guess. So obviously, we tried the first time. It went very well. And we certainly uh, believe this is important for us. Uh, this is not just a community event. It's also a national event, if you know what right. I mean. So we get all the golfers. Uh, they, they come into Tobago, experience in Magdalena. As low Magdalena has a great product, as we know and great service because staff is the asset. And so I, I, I think uh, this is, we look forward. This is fun for us. We just right. don't really work. Uh, we, 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 we create n new things for them. We, we, we create new food events for them, new drinks for them. For, so all my staff, uh, other team, they look forward for this. So we have done something special this year. Even We have even lower our room rate just to attract. So, right. so yes, uh, absolutely. If you haven't booked uh, by now, I strongly <laughs> suggest go back uh, and, uh, and uh, call us and uh, book, a, book with this uh, event. This event is pretty much sold out, I believe, yes. Really? And uh, you can probably elaborate this on further, if you will. Well, what has been happening is that over the last three years, coming to Magdalena Grand, people, it's like a, it's like a nice vacation for the golfers so and right. the families, you know, so they apparently they look forward to coming to this event. So I'm happy to say that this year we are going to be hosting 80 teams. Wow. 80 we, teams. Are going to wow. have two, we are going to have a morning draw and an, even, and an afternoon draw. That's the maximum yeah. we, could, we could fit in. Right. And right now we're just about filled. Oh, so I'm sure, imagine. I'm sure within the next couple of days that teams might, might be able to enter. Right, but it's know. a really great experience being there, uh, Magdalena. It's a just you see our our motto is to be the premier golf classic in the Caribbean. Right, and I think but but then with Magdalena Grand we are we are able to achieve it, and every year we try to do something different. And if you guys there, you come up to our Friday evening function. We have a cocktail function. It's unbelievable. And we have a lot of great, great things in store for the I can only imagine, only the best, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I, I, I enjoyed my time uh, there at Magdalena Grand the last time I was in Tobago That's and hosted the show from there. And, um, you know, I could, I could only speak of the wonderful service that I received and okay, the product you. as well. Okay. You know, so I'm very thankful for that. And, you know, this is definitely something to look forward to uh, because, again, it's for charity. It's always it's for a good cause. Yeah, yes, so yes. tell us about some of the some of the causes that you were involved in. You know, um, some of the things sure. that this uh, golf classic charity golf classic okay. was able to fund. One of our main, one of the things we are mo very proud of is being associated with the Cerebral Palsy Association. That's an association that needs a lot of help. Right. So over twenty years now, we have been bringing a, a Dr. Carillo from 
from out of Miami to actually deal with the, with the children who are afflicted and the parents, the trained the parents. And we are happy to say that recently there's a new enhancement center that, that has been opened in um, Castlefield. So one of our major pro projects this year is we want to outfit that totally. Right. So that any of these kids come there, they'll be able to have proper wheelchairs, they will have proper facilities and whatnot. Beautiful. And uh, other than the CPO Association, we have been involved again with, like recently, as, as less as a month ago, we had um, a health fair in Tobago for all the handicapped kids, for all the challenged kids right. you, that, that were challenged there, where we did blood testing, we did, we did sugar testing, we did vision, nice. you know, we did hearing, we, we got um, Drachi to come across and whatnot. So those are some of the bigger type projects, but we also try our best to, to see where we can fit in. Like, for example, there's a, there's a lovely organization in Tobago called Healing with Horses. Right. Yes. And they, they do something with those kids, you know, that, that, that you wouldn't believe a, a kid might be able to sit in a wheelchair, but they will ride on a horse. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's a very therapeutic thing that um, they are able to... And definitely you know, some wonderful courses. And, you know, um, you have a long list here. Yeah, a well, lot of courses that, you know, we, we, could, we could go into at a later time. Yeah. Sure. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for joining us this morning. Thank Vinod you. Bajaj, General Manager of Magdalena Grand Tobago. Yeah. Uh, with me also is Srinivas Mohip. Uh, of the Prime Minister's Charity Classic. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for sharing all you have this morning. And thank you for your, um, your charity and your volunteerism because, you know, doing things in a spirit of charity and volunteerism would always uh, bring positive. So Absolutely. thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. Well, we want to invite you guys to the to tournament. See you. So you to the come tournament? All right. Well, yeah. see us. Yeah, I think uh, I'll, I'll try my very best to make that happen. <laughs> you play golf? <laughs> um, my uncle used to play. My oh, okay. uncle used to play. Uh, I could probably, maybe he's in the blood. Who knows? <laughs> well, here you but, are. You know, we'll see, we'll see about that um, when the time comes. Hopefully I can make it. But for now, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back after this.